right, coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Gilbert Burns and Neil Magny. Should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup today. All right, here he is for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup today. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 10 losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Neil Magny! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record of 20 wins, five losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, Fighting at a Boca Raton for Lada, Gilbert Durinho Burns! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? You ready? Let's go All right, so the fight is underway. We'll see how it plays out. It's a pick -em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we've seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food team. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key match. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this guy. Shoot over, bro. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a sub. You got to try to find whether or not you're going to land. Ground and pound here or if you're going to go to submission. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Oh, nice job using his... Oh, man, that was slick. Gates up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a flush elbow from the bottom. Well played. 
Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem with the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, it creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. And they separate. Kick to the body by Burns. Nice strike. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Right punch is good, the left also flush. He lands flush with that right hand. Oh, and he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up once he gets to his legs. He's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Body kick now by Burns. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Let's go, guys. Fight. Blocks the shot. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Effective strike there by Neil Mack. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Martial arts, that's exactly how you do it. Set him up on the feet, promptly put him on his ass. It was beautiful, John. The way he got his opponent's hands up to defend his head, the level changes, gets to the takedown. Beautiful. Perfection. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Back mount now. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Just reach the midway point of the fight. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. He's going for the rear naked choke now. He is doing a really good job of relaxing not panicking because he's getting choked. Yeah, notice he just took the body triangle, readjust the lock, and now it looks like he's got it. He got it, he got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission, beautifully executed there on the ground. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 20 seconds of round number two. Join the winner by tap out, Gilbert!
the ring now. So there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. Now. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. 